Anyway, I don't think anyone really cares that much about these credits here. But this song is so awesome, I will not skip through it. This is such a cool song. So relaxing too, just what I need. I'm so tense after the boss fight. Still. And no, I am not going to try to read out the katakana for you. I really don't care enough. Besides, like half of all of the katakana looks the same anyway, so I could never get heads or tails of half of it. So yeah, if you don't like this song, you may as well stop watching now, because that's all this is going to be. Sit here and listen to it. Such a nice. And here it loops. I could keep going, but there are probably some people who want to see the credits. And there aren't that many more to go either. Instead, I will actually start talking about the game and stuff. I remain incredibly, incredibly impressed with what they did with all of this. It's got a lot of graphical features, but they're not overly distracting from what making it what would be making it a good game, although they do affect the gameplay a fair amount. One of the things you'll notice is that this is just a darkened version of the same backstage area that you fought Mariyama in, in, in around the middle of stage three. However, Mariyama and all the various items that were being thrown about to her too are not there. It's just unfortunate, though, that with all of the other cool features that they had, that they couldn't... Excuse me, I'm so horribly relaxed right now, you have no idea. Such a pity they couldn't have thrown in a couple little bits of deformation along some of these graphics. But whatever, it's not very important. It's not like this doesn't look cool anyway. It's not like the level stuff is what's important. We're a bit more concerned with who's getting the credit. Of course, they do have that foreground getting in the way a little bit, but... I mean, it's not that significant. But anyway, from the start, we've gone like 800 seconds or so since the start of the intro sequence. So that means that so far, 
it's been divide that by 600 I mean so 200 that'd be about 13 minutes already even more this is something like a 15 minute total credit sequence I think if it comes out to like around 900 then yeah I guess I mean somewhere around there And, no, well, still a few more credits to mention. Computer designed by treasure. I can tell you that. That's what that says. And presented by Sega 1994. Which brings me to something I want to discuss for a second. I mean, here you can take a look at my awesome performance over this game, barring the fact that I abuse safe states. But there was recently, I think on IGN or something, a review of all of the great gaming decades, or at least the top ten. For some strange reason, 1994 was not on this list. When you've got games like this, you've got the lovely Sonic 3 and Knuckles, Donkey Kong Country, so many good games. You've also got the birth of some of the, like, new generation of consoles being CD-based and stuff going on in Japan. There are just so many things going on in 1994 that are awesome in the video game scene that it's really hard to deny that that was not a breathtaking year. Another one, I mean, I've heard 87, I guess that's more or less when it all started, so that's another big year. 90, like 97, 98's another one too, because that's when you've got things like Half-Life and the Dreamcast coming out along with Sonic Adventure as a result, things like that. You've got some really cool games for like the PlayStation, and maybe the occasional Saturn game. I don't know, there are some really nice N64 games that I've forgotten along the way too. It's over 15 minutes, folks, in case you're wondering this time, so yeah. I'm just surprised that the order of those levels was what it was. I mean, not levels, years in the top ten list. 1994 didn't make it. 1994 is an incredible year in gaming and goes on and needs to deserve a very high point. Hell, 1994 was a great year, period, I think. I wish it was like 1994 all the time. Especially because I wasn't fucking in school at the time and I could just sit around and do nothing except watch TV, play video games, listen to music, watch movies, and amuse myself at Bill Clinton's occasional mishaps. Okay. Total points this play. 524,100. Think you can best me? Go on, post a video response. Why not? I'm perfectly open to it. So, we press the start button to end this. And we go on to the title screen, perhaps? It says, you got secret number four out of four. Congratulations, it continues to say. I mean, you can read this too, so it's not like it's that hard a concept. But what does the congratulations mean? Input secret number. Well, we know what the secret number is. It's 1213. And it says congratulations because whatever this does, we actually get to do it rather than just sit around and wonder what it could be that it does. But we'll get on to that in the next video, because it involves more gameplay, and it takes a fair amount of time, too.